Hey guys and welcome back to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to open and close a door in your game by using the E key or whichever key you would like with sound effects. And to do this we're going to use a matinee sequence for the animation. Now for this tutorial I'm going to be using the starter content door, however you can obviously use your own, but it all works the same. And if you don't have the starter content, to get it all you have to do is go down to the content browser down here, add new, this green button, add feature or content pack, and then search for the template that you're using. So for example I'm using the first person template, so I do add to project, however I've already got it, so I don't need to. And once you've got the starter content, we're going to drag in our door and some walls, where again you can use your own models if you want. So the walls are in starter content, architecture, and then there's some walls here. So we're just going to find some space and drag these in. And then there's also the wall door, so you can place that in. That's the wrong size, there we go. And obviously you can do this much cleaner as the snapping and stuff, but for me it doesn't need to be precise or perfect as it's just a tutorial. And if the door, go back to start content, the props, and you can get the door frame and the door. Obviously just rotate these to how you want, so you press E and then you can rotate it 90 degrees. And again with the door, 90 degrees. There we go. Then press W to go back to the move and just move these into position. So it's not perfect, but again, it's just tutorial purposes, so that will do for now. Just move this out of the way a little bit. There we go. So then to start with, we're going to want to select our door, and then go to Cinematics up here, and add Matinee Legacy. Then let's just make this a bit smaller to give ourselves a bit more space, so we can see what we're doing. And the viewport as well. And you just want to double make, double sure the door is selected, as as you can see, it just deselected it there. And make that a bit bigger. And so now what Matinee does is it allows us to create an animation for the door opening and closing. So what we're going to do is right click in the tracks panel down here, add new empty group, and I'm just going to call this door one. And then in that empty group, right click and add a new movement track. Now this will just default to be five seconds like that. What we're just going to do is grab this red bit down here and I'm just going to change it to two. But make sure that you've got snap turned on so that we know it's at the seconds like that and drag the green to two as well. Again, you can choose whatever you want, but two seems like a good length for me. And the red lines are the length of the overall sequence, and the green lines are the length of the active sequence. So now let's go to the beginning of the timeline by dragging this white bar or the black bit down here, and then go up to the top left and add a key. So what this does is it sets the start position in the position the door is in right now. And if you've ever edited a video using keyframes, you'll know all about this as it's the exact same. So now let's drag this bar all the way to the end, and then add another keyframe. And this is to set the position of the door at the end of the matinee sequence, so once it's open. And then once you've done that, you're gonna to wanna to go back into the viewport here, click on the door again, but it should already be selected. And press E, or just the rotate button up here. And we're just gonna to want to rotate the door into whatever open position you want. So I think that's good for me. And to test this, we can just hit play up here. And there, as you can see, it's opened the door perfectly. And again, you can just customize all of this however you want. So however far the door opens, how quickly, and all of that. So if you want the door to burst open, or maybe open really slowly, change this length here accordingly. So then let's close this up and get started on how the player can open the door. So first what we're going to want to do is go into our project settings. So go and edit up here, and then project settings, and then go down to input, down here, new action mapping, hit new. I'm just going to call this interact. I'm going to set the key to E, as it's the most common, other than F, but I've already got that for my flashlight. And again, you can name this whatever you want, and the key can be whatever you want, and you can also assign multiple keys to this, so E, and then even one for the controller as well. So now what we want to do is close that and go to Level Blueprint, so Blueprints, Open Level Blueprint, up at the top up there, make this a bit bigger, make sure we still see the door make this bigger like that. And the reason we're using the level blueprint and not the character blueprint is so that it's a public line of code and not just specific for that one character. So first off, let's find some empty space, right click and type in interact. And this is the key mapping that we just made. So if you named it differently, it will be whatever you just called it. And then back in the viewport here, we're gonna to want to just drag in a box trigger. So search it up there, just drag that in, place it in the door. And what this means is that when the player walks into that box trigger, that is when they can then open the door. So what you just want to do is scale this up to be the size you want. So if you want the player to open the door from really far away, make it bigger. If you want them to have to be really close, 
make it smaller. So now if I just press space to toggle between them, make it the right size that I want, like that. I think maybe a bit further, that'll be good. Yep, that looks good for me. And again, just set the box relative to how far away you want them to be able to open it. Then make sure you've still got that box collision selected, go back in the blueprint and right click and do on actor begin overlap, this one. And then you're also going to want to get an on actor end overlap, like so. And what this one means, the begin overlap, means that whenever the player walks into this box collision and they press E, that's when they can then open the door. And obviously the end is for the opposite. If they're not in that and they press E, then nothing happens. Then off of the interact event here we made earlier, we're going to want to drag off and get a gate, which is basically a toggle so that it either opens the door or closes it. So again, this is basically an on-off toggle. So when the gate's open, we want that to be when the player is in the box collision and when the player is not in the box collision, we want the gate to be closed. So the open and close doesn't relate to the door state. It just means that if the player isn't in the box and the interact key is pressed, then the gate will be closed. And if the player is in the box and the interact key is pressed, the, the gate will be open. And when it's open, that means it can then fire off the next line of code. So then off of the exit, we're gonna to want to go drag off and get a flip-flop, which again, just toggles between A and B. So if A is activated, i.e. the door is open, and the player presses E inside the box, then the door will close. But if B is activated, so the door is closed and the player presses E inside the box, then the door will open. And back in the viewport here, we're going to want to find the matinee actor that we made earlier. And if you can't find it, just look in the world outliner up here. So mine's matinee actor 1 there. Yours might have a different name depending on how many you've made, but mine's just matinee actor 1. And what you're going to want to do is just drag it in front of the door. You don't need to do this, but for me it just makes a lot more sense to keep them all together. So just at a brief look, I know that this matinee actor is for opening and closing this door here. So once you've got that selected, you're going to want to go back into the blueprint here and get a reference to the matinee actor that we just made, minus matinee actor 1. Then off here we want to get a play and then also a reverse. So play and then reverse, like so. And what this means is that when we're opening the door, it will play our matinee actor we made earlier, and when closing it, it will just simply reverse it to save you from having to make another animation for closing the door. Then we want to hook these up, so play goes into A there, and B goes into reverse down there, like so. Then after these, we're gonna to want to drag off and do play sound at location, and then just copy and paste that down there. Actually, you know what, you can just have two. Plug them both into that one there. And then what you're gonna to wanna to do it's just in, simply import the sound effect that I've got linked in the description down below. So I'm just going to make a new folder, call it sound effects, and then just import the sound effect that I've got. So just drag and drop that in there, like so. Keep it selected, and then on this plan, play sound location, hit the arrow there, and that should be in there. So now if we just test this, hit compile, hit play. As you can see, I'm pressing E, nothing's happening. Walk into the door, nothing happens again. If I walk into it, press E, it plays the sound effect and opens perfectly. And if I close it, the same thing happens. So it's not a perfect sound effect, you obviously want to change it, but it was just as an example to prove the point. And also you can see you can walk through the door, so what you're going to want to do for that is just create a collision for the door. And to do this is simple enough, you just come back, click on the door, double click on static mesh there to open it up, and as you can see, if you press collision, nothing comes up. So up at the top, tabs up here, hit collision, add box simplified collision. That seems good. Again, if this is going to be your proper door, you're going to want to make sure that you scale it properly so it fits perfectly. But for now, that's good. So if we close it, hit play, and now we can't just walk through the door again. And obviously, it's quite far, but we can't just walk through it. And then we can open it up, like so, and close it. Perfect. So that'll be it for this video, I think. I've got the door to open and close using the E key and to also play a sound effect when this happens. So I hope you enjoyed, and if you did and also found it helpful, then make sure to like and subscribe down below. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.